Awareness Month, and tonight's Consumer Alert tackles a difficult topic. While many address the challenges of a breast cancer diagnosis, few talk about the fact it can be financially devastating. Deanna Dewberry shows that's especially true for those facing metastatic breast cancer. Metastatic breast cancer is cancer that has spread to other parts of the body. Currently, there is no cure. And often when a patient is no longer able to work, she also loses her health insurance. Currently, it takes almost two and a half years to get disability and Medicare, and advocates say for these stage four patients, that's too long. A bill in the U.S. House would waive that waiting period. Tonight, meet Jules Netherland. You know, I think what a lot of people don't necessarily understand about metastatic breast cancer is that while there are treatments and more and more of them, which is fantastic, um, there is no cure. Right. And so I will be in treatment for for the rest of my life. How did you manage the reality of metastatic breast cancer? I mean, I it. It's been hard. I'm, I'll be honest with you. Like it really upended my life. I really thought I had beat cancer. While some metastatic breast cancer patients are able to keep the cancer at bay for as long as a decade, according to the National Institutes of Health, the median survival time is three years. Right now, Jules' medication is keeping the cancer from spreading, allowing her to celebrate another birthday and her recent marriage. And as a PhD in medical sociology, she's able to continue the fulfilling work of leading a research team at the Drug Policy Alliance. But she knows eventually she'll likely be forced to stop working and apply for disability. The problem is, and this is what the bill seeks to address, is that even if I qualify for uh, disability, there is a 24 month waiting period for me to qualify for Medicare. So that essentially means that there are two years where even though the government has deemed that I'm completely, totally, permanently disabled, I don't have access to health insurance. Yeah. So this bill would waive that waiting period, correct? That's right. What this bill would do is um, waive the waiting period. And when you qualify for, for SSDI, you would also qualify for Medicare at the same time. The bill would not be unprecedented. Legislation has already passed that waived the two and a half year waiting period for people with terminal illnesses like ALS. So that would mean a world of difference for people like me um, who, who would like to and frankly need to stop working um, but simply can't afford uh, to wait that five months to get any disability benefits and the, the, then the two years to pay out of pocket uh, for health insurance. Right now, the bill is stuck in the House and Ways Committee. Every Democrat and Republican in the New York delegation has co-signed that legislation, except for Claudia Tenney, who sits on the Ways and Means Committee. I asked her office why she hasn't co-signed that legislation, and she didn't answer that specific question. Instead, she sent a statement vowing to vote for the bill if it reaches the House floor. But advocates say the bill likely won't make it out of committee without her co-signature. So I'll continue to follow this progress of the bill and let you know what happens. And that's your Consumer Alert.